loves welcome back to the channel today my name is Osiria Men. please if you're here for the first time hit on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you're notified when i post a new video this video is going to be about me cutting out this jumpsuit so if you're interested in seeing how i did it definitely keep on watching and let's go into the video so the first thing you're going to do is to arrange two pieces of fabric that you know be enough to give you your hip your and all the measurements we'll be needing to cut out this pants so i have two pieces right now on top of each other so this is what we are going to be using to cut out and the front piece so as you can see i'm making a straight line across this line is what is going to serve as our waistline so i'm going to start taking all our vertical measurements from this point so from this waistline here i went down to 11 inches which is my crouch measurement so normally my crouch measurement is 10 inches so i'm adding one inch to my normal crouch measurement because this is a jumpsuit so if yours is 11 inches that means you'll be cutting this out with 12 inches so this is our crouch line so from the crouch line i went down by another 11 inches right here and i'm marking it this is going to be my knee line so now this is the waistline this is the hip line and then this is the knee line so the next thing i'm going to do right now is on this crouch line here you're going to divide your hip measurement by four so whatever your hip measurement is you're going to divide it by four and on this crouch line what you're going to do is to mark it so what i went ahead to do after dividing mine is nine inches so i just first of all made a mark so from this mark here I measured that 9 inches which is my hip measurement divided by 4 so I made the point here and then I went ahead to do the exact same thing on the waistline so after duplicating it on the waistline so I went in from this middle here by half of an inch and after doing that you're just going to connect these two that's the line on the waist and the crouch together using a straight line so this is what we have now we're going to come back to this crouch line here you're going to come out from this line we just drew by two inches so my hip is 36 inches i'm coming out by two inches to get my crouch so if you are bigger than me and your measurement is more than like 38 and going above that you can come out here by two and a half inches or three inches so this is what i have now i came out by two inches so after doing that the next thing i'm going to do is to work on this waistline so here i am dividing my waist measurement by four and my waist measurement divided by four is six so i'm adding one inch to that so that i'll be able to get my dart so i marked seven and then i'm adding an extra one inch to that for stitching allowance so we'll come down to this crouch area again and add one inch as well for stitching allowance so i'm going to connect these two points i just made now that's the point on the waist and the point on the crouch line so this is what i have i have my hip curve now what i'm going to do is to just connect a straight line from my hip down to meet the line i made at the knee line so this is what i have now from this line here this point that i got here I'm going to divide my tie measurement by two you guys know that this is a palazzo pant so when you're taking your measurement on your body you ensure that you make it free on your body so my tie measurement divided by two I just marked it now and I just made the point here so I'm just going to connect that to meet the crouch So after doing this, what I'm going to do is to just make a straight line now from this knee line to meet the end of the pants. So this is what I had after I finished taking all my measurements. Remember we've not taken the full length we want this pants to be. So for me, I wanted this pants to be 41 inches. So you see what I have here? I have only just one inch to stitch it up so i'm not going to cut anything away from this so now coming to this waist area you know that normally we're going to take half an inch away from the center of our waist which is what i just did right now 
So we're going to connect that half an inch to meet the other part of the waist. After doing that, I just went ahead to mark up another half an inch all the way on top of this place because we are cutting on the actual fabric so uh, if I don't add a half an inch to this top here it means that I'm going to be sewing into our crouch area and it will become too tight so I'm just marking that half an inch on top of everything I just marked I hope you really don't get confused at this point so instead of cutting on the first line I'm going to cut on this second line which is what I'm doing right now so that by the time I'm finished stitching it together it sits exactly on the first line so I'm just going ahead to cut out everything along the white line so guys after I was done cutting the front this is it this is everything added the one inch stitching allowance and everything is perfect so to cut out the back we're going to use the front so just like I did in the beginning of the front, I just went ahead to fold another two pieces of fabric again and now I just place the front piece on it. So in this crotch area here, I'm going to come out again by 2 inches just like I did earlier and then from somewhere around here, mark 2 inches again and just keep up with that 2 inches and then on the waist, I'm going to mark 2 inches. So I'm going to just do this all the way around mark these two inches all the way around and i'm just going to curve it to meet each other just the same way you're seeing me doing it like this so guys when you're through making that your curve on the other part of the pant just like what you see me doing like this i just went out by one and a half inch so i'm using that one and a half inch measurements now to mark all the way to the end of this pant so guys now coming down to the waist i actually was very unhappy to see that this part of it didn't really show well after i was done filming so what i did here is that i just took the measurement i have on my front waist and i'm just marking it on the back from the new crouch area that we have and then the crouch line i just went ahead to make a point on the back so that i know where it is on the back piece so i'm just connecting my new waist now to meet that line that i put that point i made so if you honestly do not understand this part from here please check out my palazzo trouser tutorial it was very detailed there i honestly i'm sorry about this part cutting off everything i'm doing here is just like how you cut out a palazzo trouser so what i just did now is to go up from the back by one inch just like the same way you would do on your palazzo trouser if you do not understand this please just check out my palazzo trouser tutorial that's basically the same thing i'm doing here so i'm just tracing out the other part the sides we are not going to add any stitching allowance the only part you have stitching allowance to is the middle which is what we already did where we added two inches all the way around so now we are just going to cut out everything as you see me doing like this so guys this is all for the trouser part of this tutorial now we're going to cut out the top area so this is the fabric i'm going to be using to cut out the top it's folded into two the, what we are going to be cutting out right now is going to be the front so we're going to take this line here as our shoulder line and we're going to start taking all our measurements from there so from that point i went down to 10 inches which is my bust point After marking my bust point, I'm going to take the measurement from my shoulder to my waist. Normally, my waist is 15 inches. So I'm going to make use of 16 inches here because it's a jumpsuit. Just like we did earlier on our crotch, we are adding 1 inch again to this. But actually, I'm marking this out now with 17 inches instead of 16 because we need extra allowances to join the ends of this top to the pant and also to join the shoulders so next thing we're going to do to get our chest line is to go up from our bust line by two inches 
so I'm also just going to mark that line across. So when you're through with that, the next thing we're going to do is to come to this shoulder line and I'm going to divide my shoulder measurement by 2 and I marked it here. So I'm just going to make a straight line from this mark I just made down to meet my chest line. So after doing that, I'm going to come down to the neck area. So I marked four and a half inches here. And then for the width of the neck, I marked three inches. So I'm just using a free hand to just make a round neck as you see me doing like this. So this is my neckline. Now coming down to this um, armhole area, I went down by one inch and I'm going to connect this one inch point here to meet the top of my neck so this is my shoulder slant so when you've gotten your shoulder slant what you're going to do is on this chest line you're going to divide your bust measurement by four and you're going to mark it when you're true with that then this line here on your armhole divide it by two and whatever you have there that point go in by half of an inch so after doing that just like you see me doing like this i'm just marking an armhole curve to pass through that point I made there down to my bust measurement. So what you're going to do is when you're through with that, you're going to come down to the waistline. So on the waistline, you're going to divide your waist measurement by four and mark it, which is what I just did. Then I added one inch to that, which is going to be for my dart intake and then one and a half inch extra for stitching allowance. Next, we are going to come back to this chest line and add one and a half stitching allowance as well to what we have here. And we are going to connect these two points to meet each other. After doing that, you are just going to go ahead and cut out the front part of your top. So guys, for the back, I went ahead to arrange another two pieces of fabric together like this right sides facing each other because i joined those pieces together it was really not enough for what i wanted it to do so i'm marking one and a half inch right now i'm trying to get a straight line this is going to be for my zipper allowance so after getting that line i'm just placing the front part of my top right on it like this right on that line so the extra space in front you know that is going to be for the zipper allowance at the back so what just like you see me doing like this i'm tracing out every other part of this top just exactly as it is on the back pieces except for the zipper area and the neck now for the neck part what i'm going to do is from this top here i'm going to go down by two inches and i'm just going to make a curve to make that two inches there because the back is going to be a high neck so that's just basically the difference between the front and the back it's just the neck and the zipper allowance in front so one last thing i want to do is to cut away from my zipper allowance on the end so i'm marking one inch here and i'm just going to take that point just slant it anyhow you want to there's no special way to doing this just make a slant to make that one inch you just did this is just to avoid bulging at the back of our jumpsuit when we fix our zipper so i'm just going to cut this like this so when we are through with this and we fix our zipper in this way you will see that it actually stays really straight so that's basically all for um the top part the only thing that is left now is for me to cut out the basic sleeve that we're going to be using on this top so guys these are all the pieces that we're going to be using to sew this palazzo jumpsuit so i am going to share with you guys the sewing part of this tutorial in my next video so if you're not subscribed please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we are going to be showing these in the next one bye